please welcome our first comic coming to the stage, Alex Jung. Thank you, my name is Alex. I'm aggressively Asian. <laughs> and I say that because I have to smile everywhere I go with this face, see? <laughs> this is, you can hang with my kids. This, give me back my kids. That's yeah, it's really aggressive. I don't know what's going on with my face. It still, it just looks like I'm still thinking about the war. Some of you get that joke. The rest of you are like, which war though? My father is a Vietnam vet. The smart ones didn't clap because you don't know which side he fought for. All right? This side of the room just gave it up for communism probably. Who knows? You don't know. No way I'm a communist with his hair. All right, I did it for you guys. The only downside to this haircut is that when I go down on my wife, it looks like a tsunami is about to hit her vagina. <laughs> Global warming is real. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've been getting haircuts throughout the whole lockdown. Oh, oh, that feels so good to get off my chest. Uh, I've been getting these illegal ass fades. I had to wait for my wife to fall asleep. I had to stuff my side of the bed. I had to grab my burner phone like I'm on an episode of The Wire. And I just took a bus east, just east. I meet up my barber. You know, under a bridge, he pulls up a stool, throws that reverse cape on me. I don't know what it's called. Just <laughs> and he hits me with that taper. I'm just like, mmm, yes, daddy. <laughs> oh, just like that, please. And one time, one of those corny ass COVID compliance officers busted out the bushes with a flashlight. What are you two doing? And we freaked out and we're like, oh, we're sucking dick for crack. Oh. oh. And then he was like, that is still legal. All right, carry on, as you were, as you were, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't let us interrupt you. <laughs> I felt so powerful. I felt above the law, you know? It's the first time in my life I felt like Nancy Pelosi. I was like, mmm. Yes, I will have another glass of your baby blood. Mmm. Has anyone seen my daishiki? I got a party to get to. <laughs> It's important, it's important. Uh, I love comedy. Uh, and one of the fun things I get to do is I get to open for a lot of bigger name comedians. And uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true because my parents didn't read or write English. So like, this is amazing to me, right? And after one of those shows recently, this sweet little lady asked me to take a photo for her. And I was like, miss, <laughs> you made the right choice. Because as an Asian person, it's a privilege, All right? No, it's a birthright, mainly because Asian people understand framing, we understand lighting, we made the fucking phone, okay? <laughs> we will stand there and wait for you to check our work. Like, uh, did we get it? Yeah. Did we get it? All right, cool, cool, very good. So when this sweet little lady asked me to take a photo for her, I'm like, miss, give me that thing, let's go. And in the middle of me taking her photo, her phone freezes. And this sweet little lady looked over her phone and she goes, is it not in English? <laughs> I'm like, it's a red button, you bitch, what? <laughs> Vegas, let's play a fun game called guess what race she is, all right? <laughs> Some of you have played it before in traffic when you see a bad driver, Asian, easy, right? It's fun, it's a call and response on three. We're gonna scream out what you think she was. One, two, three. Hi. She was black, oh! The deception, 
the betrayal. I marched for you. How could you? I could feel the sigh of relief from all the white people in the room. Like, oh, thank God this wasn't us. Oh. We've been taking L's. <laughs> oh, they took the mermaid from us. They took Santa Claus from us. <laughs> My cousin joined QAnon. Oh, it's been rough. It's been rough. I was shook because Asian people and black people have been through so much together. Remember? The railroads. Asian people built the railroads. Harriet Tubman freed the slaves under it. Come on! Most important collaboration of all time. Hottest hip hop group known to man will never be repeated in my eyes. Wu Tang Clan. Let's see how many Wu Tang fans are really in the house. Wu Tang Clan. Black people, black people, you know where. <laughs> and probably the most important collaboration of all time between Asian people and black people. Rush hours one, two, and three. How do you not do this to me, Auntie? Why? But I can't put her on game like that, you know? Like, nothing about this face is gonna change race relations. So I just did the only thing I could do without getting fired. I just took a blurry photo and I did a racist Asian accent. <laughs> I was like, oh, me so sorry, me don't know. Oh. Honestly, it doesn't matter if that she was black or I was Asian. It doesn't matter because during this time, the most important thing is that we take care of each other and heal from all this Freaking trauma that we've been through, man. It's been a lot. Like, I lost my wife during COVID. Oh, she's not dead. She just has a lot of creepy shit now. <laughs> right? The other day, she looked me square in my eyes, and she was like, you know, when they bury us, they should put us in the same coffin. I'm like, first off, chill out the notebook, all right? This, that was a movie. What? No. And also, it says, till death do us part. That's a breach of contract, miss. <laughs> Come on, my dog. Like, no, this is not a good look right here. And honestly, I plan on cruising for pussy in the afterlife. You don't know. Or, who knows, I might go diving for dick, who knows? <laughs> All right? I don't know where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna maybe up there, maybe down here. You guys know there's gay people in heaven and in hell, right? <laughs> Jesus was low-key a uh, suspect, you know? <laughs> He's going around washing men's feet. I don't know any straight dude that would touch another man's feet. He's at least bi. <laughs> and if he wasn't LGBT, then his daddy definitely was because he's the one that ordered those pearly gates. No guys, like pearly gates. Oh, we got a believer in the house. <laughs> he just got out the convention. He was like, negative. Read the Holy Bible that the hotel came with. <laughs> Guys, I've been Alex Duong. You've been amazing.